Okay, so just walking up to the ambulance station now to start first night shift of two. Gonna get in, check the screen for the ambulance I'm on, get the keys, get on my ambulance. So yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, quick update. The ambulance I've been assigned to isn't here yet, which potentially means the crews that had it before us are still on a job or something along those lines. I've come out to have a quick look. Still not here, so these are the ambulances. So as soon as the ambulance turns up or we get assigned another one, I'll be back to give you a tour of the inside and show you how we get started. Ambulance has just got here. This is how we find it. Oh, right there. Oh, right here. Perfect. This is Obi, crewmate. Okay. Afternoon, evening, morning. <laughs> We're gonna get in the ambulance now, get started, and I'll be back in a minute. Right, so the first bit of kit I get onto the ambulance is my fire helmet, which I bought with me from the fire station, and an LAS Hivers jacket. These are to be mainly used for road traffic collisions. So one, I could be seen better, and two, so I stay protected. The other bit of equipment I like to get on is my D-mask, which is a bit like a BA mask. I'll open it up as soon as I get on the front. Hello, so uh, just at the start of the shift, getting our vehicle ready. Um, so we just signed some drugs out. Uh, we're just gonna check the vehicle, make sure all of our equipment's ready to go uh, for the start of shift, so yeah. What do we have here? Uh, so it's paramedic drugs, uh, lots of drugs that we can give people. Um, pain relief, life-saving drugs, they're all in there. Uh, we've got some fluids here, and then we've got our technician drugs as well. Um, so these can be given by most ambulance crews. And we've just got to restock bits of the vehicle uh, that the last crew uh, have just used for their shift. So um, we're going to just check all the cupboards and make sure everything's there. The other bits I like to check in this cupboard are the extra bottles we have of O2 which we also have on the fire station, like to make sure they're in the green, which that one isn't, but it's still okay to use half a tank. And this is laughing gas, which is good for pain relief. So on a fire engine, there tends to be four of us. So when it comes to heavy lifting, we can manage, but on an ambulance, there's only two of us. So Obi's gonna talk you through a piece of equipment, which comes in handy with lifting. Lovely. So my favourite piece of equipment probably on the ambulance for moving people, uh, something called a manga. We store it just in here and essentially it's an inflatable cushion so we can raise a patient from the floor uh, to a sitting or on a lying position I and mean, it just saves our back so that we don't destroy it uh, during 20 years of lifting. So one of my favourite bits of equipment to look after our backs. The two main bits of equipment I like to check that I carry into every job is the life pack and the O2 bag. This is the life pack. In one side we have the blood pressure cuff along with an O2 monitor for your finger. Um, and on this side, we have the thermometer, which is there, the BM kit, dots for the ECG, which are in here. That monitors hearts. And this is it in all its glory. The other piece of equipment is the O2 bag. This is very similar to the IC packs we carry on our fire engines. It has a bottle of O2 in there, masks, dressings, anything you need to get straight down to first aid. Okay, now that the back has been checked, we have all the equipment that we need to get our shift started. I now like to check the front to make sure we have masks, gloves and aprons. This is like our clean zone, if you will. Once everything here is in place, we're ready to start our shift. Um, Obi's main role as the paramedic is to assess patients, make all the decisions. I do the driving, carrying the bags, observations, and whatever Obi needs me to do. He looks after me and I make sure we get there in one piece. <laughs> At the start of shift, I like to start on a good vibe. So what I've got today for me and Obi both are these. Strawberry mocktail and a passion fruit mocktail. I'm gonna have the strawberry. So we unfortunately couldn't have our drinks because as soon as I got them out, we got a job, which we are just finishing up on. It was a COVID related job. Um, without going into too much detail, we've left the patient at home because Obi thinks they'd manage better at home than they would at a hospital. And as previously mentioned, I said I'd show you my D-mask, which I've just worn. And it is this here. So I wear that to all COVID positive or potentially COVID patients in order to protect myself because I have a family and kids to go home to. So yeah, I'll be back after the next one. So just finished our first call of the day, which rolled through pretty much as soon as we got started. Didn't get to have our drinks, but now we can. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. 
So the drinks were a very good purchase. They give us a good start to the shift. We've also got the music going in the background while Obi just finishes up his notes. Just at the hospital now, um, dropped the patient off who was pretty unwell. Um, potentially COVID, potentially not, um, but was seriously unwell. Obi's just here now, completing his paperwork. Um, and this is the time I get for some home comfort. This is my thermos flask. Um, Snack yeah. time. Snack time. It's pretty nice to be able to eat hot food on a cold, wet day during a pandemic. So, yeah. Thanks to Grant Henderson, he's a firefighter on my watch, who's also helping the LAS. He told me to get it. Um, but yeah, being able to help people in situations like this are one of the main reasons I chose to do this. Um, very grateful to be able to. So, Obes, what made you want to be a paramedic? Oh, good question. So, um, I think for me, it was just about, like, I did some ambulance work before, um, but I just wanted to develop my knowledge quite, like, a bit more. Um, so, yeah, I became a paramedic instead. So, three years studying at uni, um, just to help people in a different sort of way. Um, so, like, the job that we just had now, um, just being able to take in, sort of, the whole picture and come up with a plan for the patient that's actually quite unwell and then hopefully try and get them recovered. I've just found my buddy Grant, who we're going to check out now. Right, Grant. Talk to me, what are you doing? Hello, I am Grant. I've been a firefighter with the LFE for now for about 12 years. And this is my second secondment with the LAS. Um, starting today, I come in about half an hour early and get the ambulance ready for our shift. Um, right, so I'm now checking we've got drugs that we need, full oxygen cylinders and spares, and then we go through all of the equipment that we store on the truck, making sure it's all in tip-top shape and fully stocked to get us right way through the shift. So Grant, why did you come back to do this condiment again? Um, I came back because the emergency services are like one big family and I could see the ambulance service was under strain, um, the pandemic's hitting everyone hard. Um, and we all had this overwhelming desire to, to help. And that's, that's why I'm here, to come and help out the public and the service. That was Firefighter Henderson, great guy. Um, but yeah, end of my first night shift. I'm pretty tired, can't wait to get home and get into bed. And I'll be back for my second night shift. See you all then.